You are now tuned in to Lost Pyramids Music Radio, the sounds of the fresh. This session right here, we, you know what I'm saying, last session we had an interview with JK, you know what I'm saying, a very talented artist from Miami, Florida, you know what I'm saying, an upcoming artist, you know what I'm saying, check all this information and all the tracks, the two tracks that he did, you know what I mean, link for his iTunes, you can go ahead, you know what I'm saying, tune in with him, you know, but um, this session right here is, you know what I'm saying, it's on the product, Maha Vapor product, it's an electronic Cigarette, but um, go ahead and know what I'm saying. Let the CEO of Play with Me Miami go ahead and know what I'm saying. Get into that interview with the owner of that company, Andrew Stevens. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Drop it up at the end. And yo. Okay, Maha, the Maha Vapors now, they're very, very new company, but have has really actually grown very rapidly. You, you have four different locations. Can you prepare to tell us where all the locations are at, sir? Yes, we opened our first location back in April 2013. Uh, that's down in Palmetto Bay off of US-1. Uh, then we extended it to two third-party sellers. So we sell on Key Biscayne and up in Fort Lauderdale. And then we have another retail location uh, near the Civic Center in Jackson Hospital. And we're opening abroad in Bolivia next month and hopefully in Colombia also. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds very good, very Exciting. good, very good. So um, what is the difference between you, your guys' oil and everybody else's oil? Oh, there's a lot that goes into the oil, and you've got to be careful because... Um, you know, some people put a lot of different ingredients in it that can potentially be toxic. Um, ours really has four basic ingredients. Uh, it comes with propylene glycol, which gives you the smoke, gives you the okay. vapor. Um, ours is U.S. made. Um, then you've got the vegetable glycerin, which holds the flavor and gives you the throat hit. Um, that, we have natural flavorings coming through, and one of the very few that use all-natural tobacco for nicotine, so it's 99.99% pure nicotine. Okay. Uh, is one of the reasons why it's a lot smoother than some of the other ones out there. Um, doesn't have a plasticky taste as a natural. natural flavor. Okay, um, what would be the risk factors that you tell the listeners out out right now? What should be the risk factors for what it might potentially cause? I there's not a lot of risk. Um, there've been a lot of studies out. Um, most studies are very very positive. Uh, some recently came out and said you can do this six to twelve months all day long and you get less carcinogens than you would get smoking a single cigarette. Okay. So comparatively you're talking about over ninety nine percent of the health benefits. One thing that you may see is uh, some dryness, some constriction in your throat just because you're taking in a vapor, but it would be no different than if you sat in a steam room. You know, you can't breathe okay. as heavily as you would okay. get in an oxygen room. So that's that's really the only thing that's come out, but but most unbiased studies have said you get over 99% of the health benefits. Uh, you are going to see your blood pressure go down. You're going to see, uh, you know, you're obviously not going to get the benefits of the smell, uh, staining. A lot of dentists are coming out for it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so in general, just the, the benefits, and then you even got the economic benefits. So it's health exactly. benefits and cost benefits because in the long run. Okay, you're now, the I've heard, now I've heard. Now I've heard. Many questions, many many things I've heard from people, from Dr. Oz, and that it causes rove of the liver. I've heard people say, oh, it causes brain cancer. And is, is, is that true? I, I haven't read that on the, I haven't read that. No. Would, would well, that be true? No. So there's no carcinogens in this, which is one thing. Nicotine itself is not a carcinogen. Most of okay. the studies that are coming out are really worried about nicotine. But nicotine itself is not a carcinogen. It's very similar to caffeine, actually better than caffeine because it, the neurotransmitters that it releases not only relax you, but also 
give you the stimulant that tobacco, that uh, caffeine would. So it, it has both. Um, long-term use of nicotine has shown to have some effect on blood pressure, but really the negative effects of smoking are because of the tar, the carbon monoxide, the 4,000 plus chemicals that are in cigarettes, the burning, the smoke. None of that is here. This is evaporation. This is vaporization. Very different than combustion and burning. Uh, okay, so so basically, what, I'm just going to stop you. So basically what you're saying is that the regular cigarette smoke, now a lot of people have this, that they don't want you to smoke in the environment because they feel that the people surrounding and the um, area, they can actually probably cause lung cancer, but it's vapor. So, so would it have any effect on people out in the, out in the stores? Right now, it's it's a case of what it seems like as to what it is. Uh, most people right now are relating it to cigarette smoke, and this battle the society has fought against cigarette smoke for fifty years now, sixty years, because smoking cigarettes has been the number one leading co- preventable cause of death in in the U.S. Exactly. And globally. Over a billion, um, billion people are dying right yeah, now. It, it's it's unbelievable. So. This is a fight that we don't want to relapse into. We don't want to see people going and starting to adopt this, young kids adopting this, and then moving to cigarettes. But first-hand knowledge of this in the last year of my business, I've noticed that's not happened to a single person. It's always been the other way. It's cigarettes to vapor, never vapor and back. Sometimes cigarettes to vapor, reducing your cigarette smoke and maybe continuing to smoke cigarettes a little bit. But most of our customers have been able to reduce their cigarette smoking so drastically that it's almost like they're not even a real smoker anymore. They may have one or two cigarettes a week or a month, but not what a chronic smoker, pack a day smoker is going to affect from my health, from my health standpoint. Okay, now you have some places that I, I'm against that that they will actually sell to kids. Would you guys actually sell to kids no, under, we, we under 18? Know. Under 18, no, we don't sell it. Um, and that's one of the biggest pieces of legislation that's out there right now because it, it is being adopted by a lot of high school students. But in reality, and if long-term studies show that this is something that isn't healthy for you, that isn't bad for you, or isn't unhealthy for you, I would rather have a kid smoking it without nicotine than maybe eating a cupcake or drinking a Red Bull because that stuff is going to have a lot worse effects on them than potentially something like this that may have them reduce their intake of their obese Skittles because they can have a strawberry watermelon vaporizer that doesn't have any calories, doesn't have any effect on the weight. Um, So there is that taboo right now is in general, like, is it smoking? Is it the same thing as smoking? But it's not. It's the difference between horses and cars. It's, it's that drastic of a difference in technology. The problem is people are relating to unnecessarily. Um, now, the question that everybody wants to know is that they're saying that kids are actually starting to use it as a trainer and, and actually becoming addicted to cigarettes now. Is now now how do you now how do you take that? I, so I haven't off. seen that to be true at all. Uh, okay. Like I said, I I haven't seen a single person go from vapor to cigarettes. Uh, not one. Uh, if anything, it's it's always been the opposite. Well, the, well, the reason being is because it 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 has nicotine and tobacco products in it, so that's why they're saying they are becoming addicted. There's more kids coming addicted now. Do you think that's just media talk or do, trying to get rid of the vapor shop or? Oh, I think, think? I think uh, well, we're not vapor shark. I mean, <laughs> just, mom, to, just to get vapor. Vi- rid of vapor. Uh, yeah, period. well, a lot of people, surprisingly, our our two most popular nicotine levels are zero nicotine and very low nicotine. Uh, probably thirty percent of our clientele uses these without nicotine. So without nicotine, there's really no health concern. Um, and I think most young kids out there that are using it are using it without nicotine i you know i we obviously have signs on the door that say 18 and over only um but uh, i i think that really that that wouldn't be anything to worry about from a kid's standpoint uh, okay you have a client here so we're going to ask him a couple questions how long have you become an um, maha vapor for months six months five months six months now you now before we got here you say you have actually stopped smoking completely and and took over the vapor and took over my hot vapor i would smoke the i used to smoke a pack a day in newports and from trying to quit cold turkey and the patch does not work patch gives me nightmares gives me like sweats and eating over time when i do when i vaporize it releases the urge of me wanting to smoke a cigarette 
and I don't smell like cigarettes anymore. I, my breath don't stink. I'm, I work in the service industry, and if I want to go smoke, clients are like, you smell like cigarettes, and people don't like to smell like cigarettes. I can go smoke this, I come back and not smell like a pack of cigarettes. People enjoy smelling nice and then smelling like an ashtray. A better smell. So you have tried every single tobacco products to actually stop smoking and they yeah. haven't even worked, period. It, it still gives me, I can't quit something you're addicted to. You can always, you, can never, you know, you could, you're you an addict, it's in your brain. Exactly. And you can never quit that. You need something, like, I needed something to, like, even when I tried the other vapor cigarettes, like the Enjoy, the blue ones, they taste like wet cardboard. These wow. are fantastic. It helps me... They taste better. If I want to go with um, like a tobacco flavor, I can go with a tobacco flavor. If I want to go with a fruitier flavor, I can go with a fruitier flavor. For me, it's on my preference, and I enjoy smoking it because I feel a little bit. I don't have that. <clears throat> you know, like when after you're done smoking a cigarette, you got you feel like you got congested in your lungs. When I smoke this, I don't feel so congested. I feel okay. easier. So basically, it doesn't congest you. Now I know with cigarettes, the um, the cigarettes it, it has actually has fiber class on the end so cigarettes actually cuts cuts your throat do you now with vapor it should not cut but and it actually hurts your throat afterwards after you finish smoking do you have that same problem with the vapor like when the coil is about to go bad you sometimes get a harsh taste in your throat but other than that no it's lighter and it's when it comes out of your nose it feels that, you know, like when you blow a new port on your nose, you get that, your nose gets all full of boogers and you taste that tobacco smell. Or it's, dis you know, it's disgusting taste. With here, I could blow it through my nose. I could, it tastes refreshing every time. If you have like a fruitier flavor, it's nice and hot outside. It feels like you're drinking a nice cool cocktail from time to time. So what would you tell the um, listeners about this product, Maha? Product, basically, basically saying that this versus over cigarettes, and would you sign sign your signature on it? Would you trust this product? I would sign my name on the signature this product because it it worked for me. Some if you don't if you're not willing to quit cigarettes, this is the best thing for you to take up instead of smoking cigarettes. And I'm not ready to quit smoking cigarettes. This is even better when you go to a bar and sit down and have a drink. Because I'm from up north originally, and there your smoking ban is, is worse than down here. In a restaurant, you can't. It's cold, you know, you don't want to be on the snow. Up there, when I go visit my parents, I can go smoke inside. I can sit at the bar and, you know, smoke inside. I don't have to go outside and freeze. Down here, it's the same thing. You know, if it starts raining, you got to go outside sometimes, and you don't get wet. You, you get to be inside and sit down, even if now, you can't. So, now, now, some people, when they when they drink, they like to smoke. For myself, I, you know, sometimes I like drinking out smoking black and mild but now what would you tell them about when you drink and you smoke this does it have the same effect as a cigarette has to tell you the truth sometimes i want the, the, my new port when i smoke when i'm drinking but other like if i smoke this i know that like it'll cut my urge down it's different from when i drinking alcohol from when i'm not drinking alcohol it's when you're before the vapor started there was only cigarettes you know like I could exactly. go to the bar and smoke but now it's you know like you still want that sensation but this helps me fight the urge of going back to the cigarette because if I smoke one cigarette at a bar like I'll start smoking this and that yeah. at the same time so I try to prefer not to do that but it's mostly when I drink I go I want a real cigarette it's just something that I don't I think it's something with the alcohol you know it's like it's, if you want a cigar when you're like I'm like a nice cognac or scotch. Exactly. It's like that. <laughs> exactly. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna ask the owner a few more questions and on his outlook on actually advancing and making his product better than the rest of his competitors. But how how would you make your product better than the rest of your competitors and keep people healthy and safer? Well, the product itself is continually improving. Um, the engineering on it is getting better and better. Um, we're seeing uh, the, the coils and the structure of it and the way that it basically absorbs the nicotine and the way that the electricity runs through the vaporizer get more efficient. Uh, we'd like to keep these things very simple to use, very easy, um, like I said, economically viable. Um, you know, going forward, we'd like to get them maybe even a little bit smaller. We'd like to definitely improve battery life on them. Um, 
we like to get the liquids, the better, better tasting liquids uh, as much as we can. And that's takes to some degree mixing in and trying, trying new flavors. We recently came out with one that tastes just like fruity pebbles is, is great. I think, I think a big thing to really sticking with it is enjoying the flavor that you have. Uh, Cause if you get a flavor you don't like, you're going to find yourself going right back to cigarettes. So it's got to be something you constantly enjoy. So that's something we're going to continue to try to improve on, try to get everybody really on a flavor that they really like or mixing flavors. Some people come in coffee in the morning flavors, then fruit flavors in the afternoon or cigarette flavors when they smoke. So those are really the big things uh, we want to improve on. Or just now, like, on. Not, early, not early in our conversation, we was talking about actually going organic. That's not mixing the different different oils, different chemicals in the in um inside the vapor. So, um, are you going to continue to make it organic? Yeah, I mean these are all natural culture uh, ingredients. So, you know, we're going to continually try to stay away from anything that could cause any potential health harms at all. Um, you know, again, it's it's really the lesser of two evils to a degree that I can't you know I, I can't emphasize enough. Um, trying to say that it's organic and natural and, and then comparing it to cigarettes is it's just they're, they're two completely different things um, so yeah we want to continue to keep it very simple the less ingredients the better um, and you know, trying to continue to make it so that people enjoy it as much as they seem to be enjoying it there you have it we are at Maha Vapors and we are sitting here with the owner of Maha which is Andrew Stevenson, and I'm CEO of Play Miami, and this is put on by Lost Pyramid. It's good, thank you. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, gentlemen. Definitely. You guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, you know what I'm saying? Tony on the session, play with me, Miami CEO. You know what I'm saying? Getting an interview going on with the Maha Vapor Store, man. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, that, 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 that it does make a difference. It cut down the urge of, you know what I'm saying, smoking a cigarette. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It don't hurt to try. But, um, uh, thanks for tuning in. And if you missed that, other interview, you missed this interview from you just tuning in right now, just go ahead and rewind it back, you know what I mean? Go ahead and check out JK on the session, you know what I'm saying? And if you missed last week's play, you know what I'm saying? The fourth, the third, the second, and the first, you know what I mean? Go ahead and play it back. It's your boy Mr. Lightful, about to go ahead and take off. I'll let you a little bit more. Yo.